Welcome to MSM Unify. In this video, we are going to guide you on how to use Unify by giving you an example. If you are new to Unify, you can register as an agent or an institution by clicking on this icon. Then you can give in your username and password and then click on login. Once you click on login, you'll be directed to the dashboard and here you'll be able to find the list of applications that you have in your account and the applications has been approved or rejected you can find the numbers from here on your left hand side you find the list of tabs now in order to submit an application we need to click on the institution tab when you click on the institution tab you find the list of um, institutions here let me clear this out for you so you find the list of institutions click on the filter now I'm going to pick up a college as an example so that we can start filling the application. Click on the checkbox and then click on OK. Then click on this college. The college web page opens up and here you can find the list of programs that the college offers. Along with that, you have the contact details and the institution address as well. But now let's go back to the program offering. And let's check the programs that's in here. So I'm going to pick up international business management. Kindly click on that. When you click on that, it will take you to the program details. Here you'll find two tabs. One is uh, check eligibility and the other one is to apply from here as well. So there's an option to apply from the website itself and the details of the education requirement and the intakes. So if it is open, you can go ahead and apply for this particular program. So I'm going to click on apply. It'll take you to the new application form in the portal where you need to fill in the details. Now I'm going to fill in the intake. That would be for September 2021. The next would be the student's presence. I would say offshore and then scroll down and click on continue. When you click on continue, it will take me to the next page that is the new application where I need to fill in the details of the student as per the passport. So I'm going to fill in the details here. Once you fill in the information, just scroll down and fill in your residential address and if the information is same as above as for your mailing address you can click on this checkbox scroll down and then click on save when you click on save it gives you a confirmation that your application is successfully applied It will take you to the application form wherein you need to check the details that you filled in is correct or not. Then we'll move on to the next step that is the agent, that is the recruiter. Go to the edit tab, click on the drop down, the recruiter, and then next comes in the program information. You need to click on the one moment. Select from the drop down the program information and check if you have all the required fields filled in and then click on update. Next, we would go to the educational background where you need to fill the student education information. Uh, the 10th details, the 12th, and if he has done the higher education, you need to fill in that information as well. So we'll move on to the 10th, and we need to fill in the information here. Once you fill in the CBSC details, scroll down and given the information as to what score did he receive, then click on add. Now we'll move on to the 12th. 
fill in the details of the 12 as well. Please fill in all the details of the 12th grade and then you click on the percentage here and click on add. Next comes the add button. Now we're going to go ahead with the higher education. If the student has done his graduation, then you need to fill in that as well. So click on add more. Select from the drop down the level of education, country, Once you fill in the graduation details, finally click on add. Now that information will show up here. Once we are done with the education background, next we we'll move on to the next. That is the test score. Click on edit. If the student has completed IELTS, you need to click on that and mention the details here. For example, the examination date. When did he attend the IELTS examination? What's the marks that you received for listening? And the overall score. Then click on update. Next comes the card info. So you can put in your card details as well, your credit card information. Click on edit and you can edit the information from here. Then we'll go to the documents tab. And if the documents are pending, finally go ahead and upload those documents. So if there is a degree certificate required, select from your files. Click on upload. Once the documents are uploaded, you can move on to the next tab. That is the fees. So if you want to go ahead and check for the particular program, what's the fee? You can find in the details here. You can also check the status of your application from here itself. So before we submit this application, please ensure that you have filled in all the information and can be verify the details as well. So now we'll go ahead and click on submit application. You'll receive a pop-up message just to check if everything is filled in from your end or not, click on yes. You'll receive an application form just for your preference to see if all the information is filled out or you left out with something that needs your attention. Just scroll down and just go through it and verify if all the documents and details that you uploaded is here or not once you verify and you are once you confirm that it's good 
then you can go ahead with the application so this is how you submit the application and if you want to verify if the application is submitted or not with the number so you have the operation tab here click on the application and here you will find the application that you submitted and if you click on this you'll be able to see if any action is being performed or not this is how the application is submitted hope this video was helpful for you and in case if you have any questions, I would request you to kindly send an email to support at msmunify.com. The email is at the bottom of the screen. You can make a note of this. Thank you so much for your time. You have a good day. Bye-bye.